Have you ever wondered how the sun, the heart of our solar system, came into existence? Picture, if you will, a vast, swirling cloud of cosmic dust and gas. Roughly 4.6 billion years ago, this celestial nebula began to collapse under its own gravity. As it condensed, it spun faster and faster, forming a flat, spinning disk with a hot, dense core at the center. This core, a protostar, grew hotter and denser over time. Eventually, the pressure and heat at the heart of this protostar ignited a process of nuclear fusion, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This marked the birth of our sun, a fiery beacon in the darkness of the cosmos. It's this process of nuclear fusion that continues to fuel the sun's incredible energy output, lighting up our cosmos and paving the way for life as we know it. So, our protagonist, the sun, was born from the dust, lighting up our cosmos and paving the way for life as we know it. Now, let's dive into the core of our fiery protagonist, shall we? Our sun is not just a random glowing orb, but a meticulously structured celestial body. At the very center, we find the core, where temperatures soar to a staggering 15 million degrees Celsius. This is where nuclear fusion occurs, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing immense energy. Moving outward, we encounter the radiative zone. Here, energy generated in the core travels outward in the form of light. It's a slow journey, taking thousands of years to reach the next layer, the convective zone. This is where hot plasma rises toward the sun's surface, cools and then sinks back down, creating a cycle of convective motion. We then reach the photosphere, the sun's visible surface. Above this, we find the chromosphere and the corona, the sun's outer layers which are visible during a solar eclipse. The sun, with its complex anatomy, is not just a glowing ball of fire, but a celestial body with layers, each playing a crucial role in its existence. Ever wondered what makes the sun so, well, sunny and sometimes not so much? Let's take a close look at the sun's temperament. Our sun, being a star, is a celestial body of hot gases, primarily hydrogen and helium. But it's not always calm. The sun has a magnetic field, much like Earth, and just as Earth has weather, the sun has its own form of weather, known as space weather. This space weather is marked by solar flares and sunspots. Solar flares are sudden, intense flashes of brightness, while sunspots are dark areas on the sun's surface. Both are signs of intense magnetic activity. But the sun doesn't stop there. It constantly spews out a stream of particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind travels at a speed of a million miles per hour, bathing the solar system in a constant stream of particles. Our sun, it seems, has a temper, releasing its energy in bursts of solar flares and the constant stream of the solar wind. How do we learn so much about a star that's 93 million miles away? Well, it's thanks to the relentless pursuit of knowledge by our space agencies. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, orbits our planet, constantly facing the sun. It captures high-resolution images of the sun in multiple wavelengths, helping us understand its complex magnetic field and the origins of solar wind. Across the pond, the ESA, in partnership with NASA, launched their Solar Orbiter. This spacecraft is on a unique mission, designed to take the closest ever images of the sun's surface. It's also the first to provide images of the sun's poles, a region we know little about. These missions have given us unprecedented access to our nearest star. They've allowed us to study solar flares, sunspots, and the sun's atmosphere in detail, providing valuable insights into our star's behavior and composition. Thanks to these missions, we've been able to peer into the heart of the sun, uncovering secrets about our solar system's fiery heart. Now that we've journeyed through the sun's past and present, what does the future hold for our celestial protagonist? Let's gaze into the crystal ball of cosmic time. In approximately five billion years, our sun will enter its twilight years. It will have exhausted its nuclear fuel, transforming its core into helium. As the helium core contracts, the outer layers of hydrogen will expand and our sun will swell into a red giant. This phase, while dramatic, is but a brief moment in the sun's life. The red giant will shed its outer layers, leaving behind a hot core. This core, a white dwarf, will shine with a ghostly light, a remnant of its fiery past. Yet even as a white dwarf, the sun will continue to shine for billions of years, slowly cooling and fading until it becomes a dark, cold black dwarf. In the grand cosmic story, our sun's journey is far from over. 
it continues to burn brightly, a beacon in the vast expanse of the cosmos.